everybody, my name is Janet, and this is my co-host, Joe, in the back. Hey, Joe. Okay, okay. All right, guys, we started off strong. However, my co-host went a little crazy, and I dropped an earring, and I don't know where it is, and I hope he didn't swallow it. Uh, my boyfriend got me a pair of Tiffany earrings. He got really excited when I got home from work one day and swallowed it. He survived, however my earring did not. Though I haven't filmed in a while and I feel really bad that I haven't, but today I am going to work so I figured I'd film a little chit chat get ready with me. But if you're interested in seeing that then just keep on watching. So first things first, I'm going to prime with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I did buy a new one because I was in denial and I was kind of on the fence. I was like, I'm not going to buy it. It's $52. But you know what? This lasts me forever. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. But before I do that, I'm going to put on the little professional that I have. Because I noticed that when I use my Estee Lauder Double Wear, it's actually pretty good. Okay. So that is the professional. So now I'm going to go in with the Silk Primer. So I was kind of torn. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it, but um, I really, really like this primer and it lasts a very long time. And I probably shouldn't be digging my fingers in here, but I lost the little thing it comes with. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was gonna repurchase it or not, but I just went ahead and did it. So this does last me forever. I'm gonna put something on the screen somewhere that shows how long the last one lasted me because I can actually go on my Sephora thing and look it up. I'm just kind of putting this everywhere um, all over my face. I don't know what it is, it's irritating my eyes. I feel like I haven't really used anything different. Nothing is new. My makeup wipe is the same, my makeup is the same. Nothing has changed that uh, would make my eyes water. It's just throughout the day that my eyes start to water. It's not just like, oh, in the morning or at night. It's like all day that I feel my eyes just randomly water. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the double wear and put this on. So I hope everybody had a good Valentine's Day. I did. It was amazing and I was um, home. I made uh, some tacos with my boyfriend. He took me out to Costco's for a hot dog combo. So overall, it was a pretty successful Valentine's Day. I'm always excited on Valentine's Day. It's actually our anniversary too. Um, we kind of just picked Valentine's Day because neither of us can remember what our actual anniversary is. We met online, so we're like, should it be when we met online or should it be when we kind of made it official or should it be like when we finally met in person? It was just like this huge kebabble. And then after a while, we just kind of forgot about it and we're like, all right, well, we'll just pick one day. And it ended up just being Valentine's Day that we ended up picking. Um, because one, he figured he didn't have to give me as many presents, and two, it's easy for us to remember. Um, I think we're both pretty bad with dates, and we don't really keep complete tabs and like, oh my God, well, you know, this is uh, our anniversary. We have to go all out. We have to go crazy. We've never really been those kind of people, um, which is, I guess, nice. I think it takes a lot of pressure off of it off of each other which means we get to do special things for each other all the time and we don't need a reason to kind of be special we can just be special with each other all the time i mean me personally i hate going out on valentine's day because it's so crowded and it drives me insane i hate going places that are so crowded even when we went to costco's oh my god you would think like the world is ending when people go to Costco's. It's like crazy packed all the time. Like we're walking with our cart. We can't even get through anything. It's just packed all the time and it drives me nuts. So, but my mom lives at Costco's. I don't know why, but she just loves going to Costco all the time. And it's like, she's there every other day. I have no idea how, because that place drives me crazy. Like I hate going there. I mean, don't get me wrong, they have good deals on stuff, but it's like, at the same time, who is gonna drink five gallons of milk in like two weeks before it expires? All right, so this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, concealer which I don't really use much of it's not that I don't like it I just don't use much of it 
I don't know how people like put on concealer and they put like from here, here, and then from here, and then here. I don't know. It's just everybody does their makeup differently and I just don't like putting that heavy of a makeup concealer look on. All right, so I'm just gonna set that with a little bit of air spun. And this is my Y10 Morphe brush. I'm like praying to the makeup gods that my eye, well my eyes, don't water. Like I honestly have no idea, like I was talking to my boyfriend today and I was like, you know, I need to go to the eye doctor. You know, my eyes have been watering and they're super, super itchy all the time and it's just insane. And I like, I don't know what it could be. Like I wash my makeup, uh, sponges every single time before I use them like literally every single time and I think that's like the closest thing that gets to my eye but I've never had a problem with it before and it's like the closest thing that gets to my eye so it's not like I'm like unsanitary or anything that's causing my makeup to like or causing like irritation to my eyes Recently, I've been just putting setting spray on after I do my foundation um, and my powder. I don't do it once I'm done with all of the rest of my makeup. I notice that it helps it not look so cakey afterwards because, and I feel like my foundation sticks better. I don't really have a problem with my blush and bronzer and all that stuff ever really moving around. This is just the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. So I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. This is the Hula Bronzer. I think they came out with like one more shade, which was a lighter shade that they came out with. I'm just gonna go over that bronzer, right over that bronzer with the Kat Von D shade and light palette. Just a little bit. I already bronzed there, so I just kinda wanna add a little bit more oomph, oomph, oomph. So I'm just going right over that a little bit. And I'm just gonna follow that under my jawline. Here. Slim out the face a little bit. <laughs> all right, so. All right. And then, I don't have a big forehead, but I'll just put a little bit here on my hairline. So I have a lot of projects that I've been wanting to do at my house. Um, we have a little patio out front of our um, house. So I've just kind of been spending time focusing on what I want to do on that. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a little video on what I'm doing with that. I wonder if you guys would be interested in little decorating-ish videos or like DIY videos. I think I'm gonna do something with that too. I feel like that would be fun. It would be fun for me at least. Ooh, that a little too contoured? That's good enough. <laughs> oh, that's good enough. All right, so anyways. Um, yeah, so I wonder if you guys would be interested in that. I have like a, a couple little things that I wanna get done on my patio and my porch. I feel like I've been kind of focusing on that lately. Um, now I feel like we've been spending more time out there so I kind of been wanting to make it a little bit more homey. I'm just going in with my L'Oreal True Match blush in the color Rose, what does it say? Ooh, Rose Cocaine. Okay, it's not cocaine, but uh, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna record it. That might be fun. I think I'm pretty much done with my base. I'm gonna put on a little bit of highlight. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know, I gotta get through it though. I hate just leaving products just sitting there and not using them. How's that? Yeah, I'm still pretty bummed that that Jeffree Star um, highlight came and busted. That was kind of a bummer still, it sucks, but you know, you 
win some, you lose some. All right, I feel like I wanted a soft highlighter or a little bit of highlighter, but I feel like that didn't do anything. I'm just gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlight. Just gonna go right over that. Right where I already put it. Maybe I'll just go in with the Modern Renaissance. I feel like, it's not that I don't use it, I just don't reach for it much. All right. Like literally some of the colors are not even touched so all right so we'll go in with that I don't know maybe this has something to do with my eyes itching I have yet to wash my brushes I know I know I know I'm a horrible beauty guru blogger of the world of YouTube um, God now my nose is running I'm probably dying all right so I am just going to go in with this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer as a base. And then I'm gonna just set that with a little bit of Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette, which um, that color is in a couple of their palettes. So I'm just setting this with Tempera, just a little bit. same on the other side I feel like I do go into this palette but I always use this color which is called Primavera and I always use that color because every time I think of that color I think of the Primavera I think of the Primavera song from Phantom of the Opera and that is my all-time favorite hands-down movie in the whole wide world I could literally and I have literally watched it like four or five times just back to back to back when I'm sick I just that's like that's what I want to watch all right so I'm just gonna go in with I think I'm just gonna go in with some raw sienna um I might just do a two a two color lid and then let that be it all right maybe I, I need a denser brush than this it's gonna take me forever drag that under my lash line as well later on and oh uh, I think I did an, a look one not too long ago with just raw sienna. I think I did. All right, my battery is low. I was supposed to put this on the charger and I completely forgot. All right. Um, what else is new? Joe has to go to the vet. He needs to get some shots and then after he gets his shots, we are taking him to um, go and get a bath his birthday is in March um, so we figured for March we would give him what he absolutely hates and take him to the vet and take him to get a shower don't come after me I know it's probably not the best but we usually on his birthday go to McDonald's and we get him a cheeseburger and a vanilla ice cream um that's his favorite i mean we don't give it to him all the time it's basically once a year yeah he eats table food from what we're eating but he's never gotten sick from it i mean he just i don't know he's got the stomach of a fucking wolf i don't know he's got an iron stomach and he never gets really sick from anything he's gonna be three so i'm excited to see what his bark box is gonna be because they ask for like his birthday month and I think they're gonna probably send him like a special little birthday box, which I think would be cute. So that's what we're gonna do for him. That's the only uh, new and exciting thing that's going on in Joe's life. I'm just putting a little bit of Primavera on the lid. Anyways, I'm just going in with a little Morphe Y20 pencil brush and I'm just gonna, um, put a little bit of this raw sienna right underneath my lash line. I am like so surprised that my freaking eyes have not watered at all. Maybe that's a way of Jesus telling me that I should be recording more. Wearing glasses when my eyes are like watery like that I think makes the biggest difference because I feel like when you put glasses on your look automatically turns a little subdued because people are kind of looking at the frame of your glasses more so than your eyes the only mascara i feel like i can count on is this 
Sumptuous Infinite. This is an Estee Lauder Daring Length Volume Mascara. And the reason why I like, I think the reason why I like this, I, I should probably look into if this is even waterproof. I don't think so. I love it because of the wand. It's really stiff. It doesn't have like super long bristles or anything like that. Like it's not extra. It doesn't have like how this little benefit one, it doesn't have like this whole freaking dick at the end of it. So ugh. anyways, all right, so I'm just gonna put on a little bit of this mascara really quick. Um, my, I think I'm just gonna do a little neutral lip. Oh my God. I found it. I've been looking for this. All right, so let's put that with that. So this is what I did yesterday. And it looks like it would be super dark, but it's not. <coughs> I mean, super red. <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm almost done with it. So anyways, I just put a little bit all over and then let it dry. Excuse me. I know it looks really red, but once it like sinks in and dries, it actually is a really pretty color. I'm trying really hard not to burp, Ooh, but I feel like it's just gonna come out. So with this, I only put it like towards the inside of my lip, kinda, and rub it in. And then that's what I get. I get like a cute little Red tint. And that's it. That's today's makeup look, guys. Let me know if you guys want to see the um, little DIY decor um, thing that I'm going to be doing on my porch. Let me know if you want to see me vlog Joe's amazing birthday day that he's going to have. And that will be a lot of fun. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot lately, but I promise I will be posting a lot more. I feel really guilty that I don't. Trust me, I do every single time that I open up YouTube. I'm like, oh my God, I should be posting more. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let me know what you guys think down below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.